everybody. I hope you're all doing well. I'm doing a mini session for one of my patrons. So mini session, there aren't any specific goals. We're gonna go as guided by spirit. If any of you are interested in getting a mini session for yourself, you can join my Patreon community at patreon.com slash Abby Normals Wisdom Quest and have a similar experience each month that you're a part of my Patreon community. Okay. I want to thank you so much for this opportunity and thank you so much for being a part of Patreon. Thank you so much for sharing with us here on YouTube. I'm going to relax and let's just see what comes up, okay? What is the most meaningful wisdom and healing I can share with you right now? Let's see. Okay. Okay, here's a place or a space or an experience or where you live right now. Here's a space, a place, an experience. All right, so there's two different worlds of reality. And you're in the middle. And you represent actually a pink swan, okay? And something feels vague right now. And there's something of a statement. Are you where you want to be? Are you where, where are you? And is where you are where you want to be? That's the best I can say it for right now, okay? All right, there's some density in your heart and you're facing me and I see the swan energy is coming out of you, out of your head, your neck and your shoulders, a pink swan, but you don't look at me in the eye and I seem to be taller and looking down at you and you are looking more so down at the ground. And I'm having a conflicting time trying to just reach you directly and then bring you into a, a spe specific space. I'm going to try to put you in this one over here and then see what happens, okay? And then we'll try and put you in this one over here and make more sense of what this is saying, okay? You're not wanting to let go and so you feel stuck against a wall, but the wall is invisible. So when I try to move you into an open space over here, I, I can, I actually can't pull you off of the wall. All right, so what we'll do is we're just gonna absorb you directly into the wall since that is all we can do right now. We're just gonna go there with it. We're gonna go there more than we've ever gone there before. We're gonna go straight into the wall, okay? We're just gonna be the wall for a bit as a beautiful pink swan. And you get overwhelmed and you say, no, 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 it's gonna suffocate me, it's gonna suffocate me. And I say, well, why are you stuck to it? Why are you attached to it? To be attached to this wall is, I mean, if we bring you in and that's too close, but you're okay being attached to the wall with a little bit of distance and breath, the wall in and of itself is something you need to disconnect from. So what's the wall represent? It is a comfort zone for you, that's for sure. You want the wall, but you only want it so close. However, I feel like this wall is going to prevent you from having new experiences in other spaces that you could, that you're gonna grow and learn new things, okay? And that growth is gonna, you're gonna feel like you're thriving because you're having new experiences, but you gotta detach from this wall. I can't, I can't make the wall go away. I can't make the wall disappear. I'm trying so that I can show you what is outside of this attachment, but I can't make it disappear to show you that. 
So I'm gonna bring again bring you in the wall and you're just gonna have to suffocate. It's almost like you're gonna it's gonna have to get worse before it gets better scenario. So we're just gonna make it worse so that you can see how much you do not want this wall in your life. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. You're getting absorbed in and you kinda it's almost like you feel defeated. You're not gonna resist. Okay, I'll absorb into the wall and you exhale. As you, the wall then represents water and you go under water and your next breath then will be inhaling the water because you're going to give in to defeat and you're not going to resist it and fine, I'm not going to detach from the wall and if all I can do is just become one with the wall, I'll, I'd rather do that than let the wall go. It's hard for you to find yourself without it in your life, so you might as well be a part of it and in a part of you. But I feel like that's going to be a drowning experience instead of um, you thriving with you and, and all your specialness, you know what I mean? Okay, so we're going to go into a water world. So you're, you're in the wall <laughs> and you're underwater now and you have no breath, but you're not inhaling the water, you're just kind of lingering here. And you whisper, please let me go. And I see somebody with their back to you and they're looking away from you. And it's a man and he says, you're a swan. And you blink your eyes like, oh yeah, I forgot, I am a swan. He says, what are you doing underwater? You're a swan. And you blink your eyes again like, oh, I guess I shouldn't be underwater, should I? And he says, leave me and be a swan. And you cry and you reach your hand out, which is actually a hand and not a wing, okay? And he echoes to be a swan. And the hand disappears and it becomes a wing and you instantly go up to the top of the water. And my guides are talking to me about a swan living in an alleyway in a city versus swan living in a be beautiful lake environment with other swans. And you really need to think about what what your energy is, who you are, what you represent. And it's like birds of a feather flock together. And there is a healthy environment um, where you can thrive. There is, okay? That's what they're saying. That is all I'm called to share for today. Wow impactful all right thank you so much for this opportunity i'm really honored and touched and i know a lot of people are going to find meaning in this message thank you and and thank you all for watching for your love and support of my clients and my patrons and i wish you all a very beautiful rest of your day